Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi everyone. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Maggie Diaries. I am so happy to be here to show you another mouth-watering meal. And without further ado, let's get into it. Granuts are a familiar staple in Nigeria. They can be a quick pick-me-up snack, or you can use it to drink gari, which is my thing, or turn it into peanut butter. Our meal today will have this popular staple, but what it is, I'll reveal later. Joining me in this wonderful episode is Basira. She's a baker, and I am super excited that she'll be joining me today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa sis. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi Thank you for joining. Oh, wow. I think you're the first person that's going to be taller than me in my kitchen. Not bad. <laughs> yeah. Look at the creation I made for you. What do you think about it? So nice. This is the test right? Yes, it oh, is. Mashallah. That we'll be using to make the curry during Ramadan. I pray Allah accept our ibadah. I mean, thank I mean. you so much. And also looking at all these ingredients, what do you think we'll be making today? This granite. Yeah, granite. <laughs> mm. Granite soup. Basirat is absolutely correct. Today we are cooking granite soup. I'm so excited by this soup because it shows how creative we are as human beings. It's time to go on a break and when we come back, we'll start cooking. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. Like I said before we went on a break, I'm about to introduce you to the ingredients. We're going to be using granite. It's already roasted. Diced onions, scotch bonnet, a jagbig bay, ground crayfish, smoked fish, Maggie crayfish, Maggie star, beef, and scent leaves. The first thing we're going to do is boil the meat. Thank you. Have you had granola soup before? No, I have not. This is my first time. Oh, ah. Then you are in for a treat. Is there a favorite way you like eating granuts? Just boiled. I don't need to say granuts. Oh, you like boiled granuts? I love yes. boiled granola too. And it's seasonal, so it's not like every time that you get it. Thank you. So we are using goat meat for today. And then I'm going to add in the onions to cook the meat. Okay, let me just add everything and two Maggi star cubes. Okay. It's too enough. Yeah, too. Okay. <laughs> too well. funny. Uh, what's your favorite thing about Ramadan? I think that's going to be the last 10 days of Ramadan. Ooh. Because, of course, it brings us closer to Allah. Yeah. And we believe that during those days are when our prayers are accepted the most. Yes, inshallah. Yes. May Allah accept our prayers. Amen. And all the acts of ibadahs we do during Ramadan as well. Amen, amen, amen. All right. So while that one is cooking, we're okay. just going to prep the rest of the ingredients. All right. Can you help lysing the scent leaf? That's actually the last thing that we're going to do. Okay. But there's no harm in like being right. prepared. This is not how we are going to be using the granite. We are going to be pounding it in the mortar, you know, to blend it together. But if you like, you can also use it in a blender. The most important thing is that the peanut is ground to the consistency of like a chunky peanut butter, that kind of thing. So I'll be right back. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> now that my peanut is blended, I want to take some beef broth to like, you know, mix it up into a paste. I'll just need about two spoons. If it's not enough, I'll add to it. I know earlier I asked you what's your favorite thing about Ramadan is, but now I need you to tell me what your favorite activity is during Ramadan. That would be um, Tarawi. You love Tarawi. I know that sounds funny. Yeah, because, because so many you know, people they run from Tarawi. <laughs> I remember when I was growing up, Tarawi was an opportunity for us to actually just go out and play because you know we we'll go to the mosque as little kids. It was like really safe then. 
and we'll not we'll make sure we don't go on time. We were small children, don't judge us. <laughs> we'll not the go fun on time. Part is that I get to see so many people I've not seen. Very yeah, very it's a beautiful moment to all come to pray around together. It's yeah, a beautiful so. moment for community bonding. Have you made this soup before? But I've never made it. Oh, I was going to ask you any new method you have for us so, in making it. I'm here to learn. <laughs> okay. This soup seems to have high fat content okay. and if you are looking for that nutritional value in your meal, this is a go-to meal for you to do. Oh, thank you. Just continue with it. <laughs> so, while she's doing that, I'm going to add the stock fish, then the dried fish, crayfish, scotch bonnet. I'm just going to add Maggie crayfish tablets into it. We're almost done, friends. That is ready for me now, so let me just put it in and then we are going to continue cooking it. Okay. You know, as a Muslim, especially during Ramadan, do you know how to get ideas of what to cook? Because for me personally, I feel like timetables are too regimented and, you know, everything just seems like a struggle sometimes. So do you have any methods you use to have ideas of what to cook? That's always been a struggle and it's still going to be. We just go by what we have at home. We don't have any timetable. We don't... Because we might even say, okay, oh, by afternoon, what are we going to eat? Yeah. We read this and that. Okay. When it's almost time for a store, well, I, don't, I don't have the energy anymore. So <laughs> let's just make with what we have. Well, that's the advantage of, you know, following Maggie on their social media platform so that we can give you ideas of recipes that you can make at home. So I'm just going to add one spoon of palm oil. <clears throat> I don't want to use too much, you know, because we're already using peanuts. It has high oh. fat content. So I'm just going to stir it together so that we'll incorporate everything. Oh, that smells delicious. What is your favorite swallow to eat with soup? I know that you've not had this before and it is going to be your first time. But what do you think you'll be willing to have with it? I think semo will be nice. Perfect. Oh, nice. You like yes, semo, don't you? I do. And to Obawa and Karako de semo. At all. You are not wearing a <laughs> I'm going to add the scent leaf into it now. Then stir it all up together. And that's it, friends. We are basically done. Mm. <laughs> you can't wait, can you? I can't. <laughs> we are going to be going on a break now. And when we come back, we'll be here with our semo and ready right. for a star and ready to dig in. Finish work for your cooking with Maggie Chicken. No rival. Maggie Chicken has all the natural ingredients you love, like onion, celery, turmeric, soya, and other carefully selected ingredients to give great taste and rich flavor to all your favorite meals. Maggie Chicken is your secret when it comes to cooking all the dishes you love for that unique chicken flavor. Oh yeah, shine with Maggie Chicken. Cook the difference. <laughs> Welcome back to Maggie Diaries. I know you can't wait to try this out. I know it's your first time and you're very adventurous with meals, aren't you? <laughs> no, I'll wait, wait, no, don't worry. Not the bigger bowl. Oh, yeah. <laughs> don't worry, uh -uh, don't worry. We'll settle okay. in ourselves for iftar soon. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Our iftar is served and ready to be eaten. Every time I've shared this meal with people, it always ends up being super amazing, which is why you must try it with your family and friends. This meal is so flavorful and the smell will immediately make your family and friends eager to have a taste. So make sure to make this meal and share your experiences with us on our social media platforms. It's time to say goodbye as we have come to the end of this wonderful episode of Maggie Diaries. Until I see you again, remember that everyone is welcome to Iftar. Masalam. Ma